Over the next few days, I'm going to be releasing a series of videos that goes in depth into the different water clarities that we see as bass fishermen. Today is clear water, both mistakes and tips that can help you to catch bass in clear water. Tomorrow, stained water, then muddy water, and then tannic colored water. I have fished in a number of different states. I mean, down south in Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, in the Carolinas, up north, New York, Minnesota, Michigan, and different water clarities always kind of have the bass doing certain things that I've just kind of written down here in my phone and I'm going to go through. So today, clear water. Now, first, I want to talk about probably the biggest mistake that a lot of anglers make in clear water, and that is that they overwhelm the fish. This is something that you can do in a number of different ways. And, and the biggest way is simply being too close to that fish. Whether you are fishing from the bank or from the boat, you want to make long casts in clear water. And this is something that is so, so simple to do, but yet a lot of us don't always think about it when we get to the body of water. We're kind of making that same, you know, maybe short pitch type cast or just underhand roll cast. And I'm telling you, if you make a really long cast in clear water, you could probably double the amount of bites that you get. Cause I have seen it so many times when I'm fishing clear water and I make long casts that a bass will hit it at the very end of that cast. And there's no other way that I probably would have caught that fish. So being away from that fish is really going to help you to catch a lot more in clear water. Now, the other way that we can overwhelm bass in clear water is with the actual lure that we are fishing. A lot of times if that lure is too bright in color, too flashy, or just too big, it will overwhelm the bass. Bass obviously use their sight a lot in clear water. They're going to be able to tell what is fake and what is real. So if you have something that is just too much for the bass, maybe you're fishing clear water on a very, you know, no windy, no wind day, and you're fishing a spinnerbait, that might be too much for the bass and they're going to shy away from that bait. So do not overwhelm bass in clear water. You wanna go with a lot more natural colored lures and more just natural lures in general, natural movement lures, I should say. So that actually brings me though to my next point, And this is more of a tip. And this is something that I don't think a lot of guys utilize in clear water and that is, you don't always have to select a lure that is going to get the, by, the bass to commit to the bait. One thing that I absolutely love to do is use bigger search lures that simply show me where the bass are. And what I mean by this it primarily is using a glide bait. In clear water, when you are fishing, one thing that you can do is pull fish from a distance. So I can actually find where bass are located simply by throwing a big glide bait out and pulling them away from the cover or the structure that they may be sitting on. This just simply allows me to find the bass and find where they are located, where then I can kind of swing back maybe an hour later and fish a more finesse approach, like a, a, a drop shot or a Ned rig or a, a shaky head and actually catch that fish. This is something that I actually did on Lake Norman before. I would actually go down different dock rows and I would throw a big glide bait down that dock and I would actually be able to pull fish out of the dock and find out, hey, there's a fish on this dock, there's a big fish on that dock, there's another fish on that dock. And then an hour or two later, I could come back with the Wacky Rig Cinco and catch those fish that I had pulled off those docks. So using bigger search lures simply to find the fish is something that can really, really just help you to catch a lot more bass out there. Another search lure that I do this with is a jerk bait. A lot of times a jerk bait can just catch fish in clear water, but sometimes what you will find is bass simply follow that jerk bait. It has drawing power. So again, a jerk bait, I've done this up north for smallmouth. I might be fishing a big grass or rock flat where I can use a jerk bait and I will have bass follow that jerk bait in and maybe they came off of a small rock pile where then later in the day, I come back to that rock pile and I use a Ned rig or I use a tube and actually catch 
that bass. Now, before we get into the remaining clear water tips, I do want you guys to know that this video is brought to you by the Deep Dive app. This is an app that you can download on your phone that helps you to find and locate bass a lot quicker. Once you get to that body of water, you can select it. You can put in the water clarity, the water temperature, whether you're fishing in windy or protected area, or if you're fishing around vegetation. And the app is going to spit out some strategies and lures that you can use to attack the body of water. It really cuts down on the amount of time it takes to find bass. And if you want to download it, click on that link down below in the description. In clear water, another big tip is simply following the wind. This is something that can really help you to catch a lot more bass. I don't know how many times I have been like practicing for a tournament and I am fishing in a clear water, you know, reservoir or natural lake, and I am fishing a windy section of that lake, a lake where the wind is, a section where it's really just wind is pounding in, and I find a group of fish there because the wind actually pushes zooplankton, which that zooplankton in turn brings bait fish like shad or shiners or whatever it may be, and then the bass follow that bait and that's how you catch them. So one thing that you can do in clear water is simply follow the wind. And what I've seen more times in clear water than not is that if you are fishing in an area that was really windy and all of a sudden it is dead flat calm, that is a lot of times when you run into just not catching fish. You, you think, man, I found the best area ever, but you get there, that water is dead flat calm and those fish are gone because they are now chasing the bait fish that are kind of chasing the wind. So one thing that I do anytime I'm fishing in clear water is really pay attention to the wind because I think it is vital in clear water. Another thing that is really vital in clear water is thicker cover. If you don't like to fish offshore, if you don't like to fish deep, try to find some of the thickest cover that you can find. Because personally, a lot of times in clear water, you're going to have bass that are actually a little bit deeper. And I tend to like to fish for those fish. I like to use my electronics. I like to go out there. I like to find them. But if you do not like to do that, maybe you don't have the electronics or maybe you just don't like to fish in deep water, try to find the thickest cover that you can find because bass will get in really shallow water if there is thick cover there. Now, a couple examples of thick cover might be simply a dock. A dock that provides a lot of shade, bass will get right up in that dock even in some of the clearest water that you fish. Another thing is really, really thick vegetation. I was fishing a, a lake earlier this year where it was the water was gin clear. I could see down to the bottom very easily, but I found some thicker eelgrass mats and there was a ton of fish up under these eelgrass mats and I was just flipping and pitching a heavy weight and catching them. So if you don't like to fish offshore in clear water, try to find really, really thick cover because a lot of times that is where those bass in clear water are going to be. Now the fifth and kind of final tip when it comes to fishing clear water is that top water baits can be king. Now this obviously doesn't always apply. You know, if you're fishing 40 degree water that's clear, top water probably isn't going to be the best bet. But a lot of times when that water kind of gets above the, the 60 degree mark, you know, especially throughout the summer, I am always going to have a top water with me no matter no matter what time of day it could be early morning and or late in the evening definitely but even in the middle of the day when you're fishing clear water top water can be one of the best ways to catch some of the biggest bass in that body of water you are fishing what i've noticed about top waters is they can really draw fish from a distance i have fished in lakes before where I'm throwing a top water over a brush pile that is sitting down 15 or 20 foot below the surface of the water. And those bass will come out of that brush pile to get a top water bait. And real specifically, my favorite top water in clear water is this JT Evergreen, either 115 size or 95 size. And I did a full video on this specific bait because it really helped me to catch a lot more bass in clear water. There's a few things about this bait that are different 
than any other top water. And I'm gonna leave a, that video right here. So if you guys wanna watch that video all about this top water bait, it's right here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.